Hi guys and girls, welcome back to my channel and welcome to episode 25 of Build the Terminator. The Terminator. Week by week, build the T-800, the killing machine that defined a generation. Easy to build with high quality metal components. You can control sound, lights, articulated limbs and LED eyes and explore the Terminator universe. Build the Terminator. Issue 1. Just $1.99. Welcome back everyone, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Build the Terminator. Today we're going to be working on assembling the shoulder joint. Um, there are going to be some components from previous issues that we had. So first of all we've got um, 20... So if you look here, obviously on the magazine, these are the parts we're going to be working with today. I'm going to show you more close up in a moment. Um, but the first one you want from the last issue is 24-1. So we didn't use that last time, that will be used. We've also got uh, this component here, so that's 23.2. And lastly, from the previous issues, um, 23, I believe, or 22, we have uh, 22 part one. So all these three parts are gonna be combined with these new components here today, um, and we'll be finishing off that shoulder joint. So then for the next issue, um, issue 26, I can finally put it all together. So you'll see a fully completed shoulder, arm, lower arm, hand, elbow, everything will be done. And uh, then we can move on to the, to the next issues. So anyway, let's get started. So just a quick rundown of the parts. Obviously I've just mentioned about these three here um, from the previous issues, which are gonna be assembled with the new parts. So starting from the bottom, this is the springs, the right shoulder spring. Uh, moving over, we've then got the uh, right shoulder accessory. This is gonna be a part that will be uh, super glued on. Then you also have the right elbow pin, so 25.2. Uh, apparently it's not gonna be used this issue, so I'm gonna put that away uh, for now. Then we move on to the actual main components here. So within this, um, this is all plastic by the way, should I add. These are all the shoulder accessories that are going to be fixed onto component 22.2, which we'll get to in the next steps. Um, some parts are metal. Um, the spring is metal, but not very strong, in my opinion, but we'll see. This is plastic. All the components at the back are solid metal, which is good. And lastly, you've got some screws at the bottom. So these ones are the three times eight millimeter PM screws. There's one spare. And also you've got the PM three times six millimeter uh, with another one spare. So for steps one to three, you'll see that I've cut out these two components here from the, uh, the shoulder parts. This one's very simple, very quick. We literally just want to super glue this smaller part to that part there. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of super glue. This is not rocket science, to be honest, but I have to show you nonetheless. I'm just gonna give a quick test that it fits into place nicely before I super glue it. You should always do that before putting super glue on, just in case, so that fits on nicely. So I'm just gonna put some glue onto the raised area of the smaller part. And remember, just, just one little bit, you don't want to go too OTT of the glue. Just enough to keep them locked on. Just hold that down for a second. And there you go. Okay, so for steps four to eight, as you'll see, I've laid out all the parts in order. So obviously that was uh, the first part, that's part A. Then we have B, C, D, and E. These will all go in a certain order on the component 22.1. You'll see here at different parts, there are areas for it to connect to. So all of these will be super glued in over the next stages. So I'm gonna start with step A, obviously from sorry, component A from step one. That's the first one that goes in. Just make sure that the um, the screws are in alignment with the upper part here, which is the smallest part. You'll know which one it is because it won't fit in without it. So just give it a quick test before you super glue it. That it does fit in. If it doesn't, you might need to um, sand down the excess parts from the, um, from the component because when you cut it out, there can be residue left over. So to give you a quick test before you super glue that it fits in nicely. Okay, so I fitted component A, so now I'm gonna move on to B, which is obviously this longer part here. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of super glue within, within the recess rather than on the part. 
obviously if I don't need it I won't have to apply any more on the part and I prefer not to put it on the the plastic parts because once it dries it leaves a residue so I'm just going to pop that one in now okay that's gone in nicely so you can see I just turn it around for you so that's the first two parts A and B so now I'm going to move on to C this component here that's obviously going in the middle so you can see it's very simple but still we've got to be careful we don't want to rush this this is going to be a very important component for the entire arm and shoulder area so it has to be done correctly it can't be rushed okay I'm just going to place that in now hold that down for a little while just so it connects Okay, now we're going to move on to component D, which is this one here. So again, repeat the process with the glue at the bottom. And again, just hold that one in for a little while so it connects with the glue. So you should see that coming together now. Okay, and then finally, we're going to move on to component E, the last one. Okay, I'm just going to pop that in now. And again, just hold that. So look at that, that's really coming together now. Looks pretty cool. All the components are in place. As you can see. The uh, the top one I didn't actually super glue in uh, because component A, because it's really nice, tight, snug fit. So I haven't bothered with that one. Um, but yeah, that's that part done. So now we can move on to the next steps. Steps 10 to 13. So steps 10 to 12. This is where it's going to get a bit more tricky and we have to be very careful not to uh, damage it or obviously um, do it incorrectly. So first of all, taking the, uh, the component here from the last steps, make sure that the screws are facing in line, so they're facing straight down and they're in line with component A and obviously the other component at the bottom here. So that was component A. So you see the screws are in line because obviously that's how we're going to uh, face everything up. So what you want to do first, you want to take the spring and you're going to place that in the middle then we take component 24.1 now this part here you'll see on the side there's actually um, a little notch tab so you can just see that there that's going to fit onto this little notch here and that's going to hold it down so that's how you want the the um, the plate to face over it has to be facing that way you can also see on here there's like this shape here this is where the um, the other plastic parts gonna go on the next part so that's already been put there for you so what we're gonna do I'm gonna put that over just to line that up again need to be careful here so just checking where the notch is and as I mentioned remember the screws need to be in line So what you do, you push that down and then that's clipped in like so. And then the three screw holes here, you're gonna take your PM screws. They are the uh, two times, sorry, three times six millimeter. And you're going to put those in and secure it down. So those ones go on the outside.
So I'm just going to partially secure each one just so I can get into place because at the moment there's quite a lot of resistance. The spring, the spring is trying to push back naturally against me so I'm having to, to apply some force whilst I'm doing this. So I'll just get that second screw in slightly. Okay, and then the last one, and then I will screw them home. A bit fiddly again with these screws, but we are getting there. Okay, so now I'm going to screw them home to complete steps 10 to 12. And there you go. So that is that part complete. That is how it should look. That is ready to go for the next stages. Okay, so for the final stages, steps 13 to 18 of this build, we're gonna be taking this small uh, plastic component and you'll see at the back there's two raised pegs. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna apply a little bit of super glue onto each part. And then we're going to flip over 22.1. And as I mentioned before about that little, you'll see the little uh, indentation there. That's where this part's going to go. So I'm just going to fix that in now and hold that down whilst that secures. Again, I've got good strong glue, so it shouldn't take too long. Okay, that is uh, glued and secure. So now we move on to step 15, and we're taking this component here, so 23.2, uh, which was supplied in issue 23. Um, you'll see there are two screw holes there. That's where we're gonna be securing um, some screws, which will be the PM three times eight millimeter screws. So that's the long ones. We've got two of those. So what you wanna do, flip this part over again, and then we're going to align up those holes with the component. So this bit's going to be a little bit tricky because I've got to make sure I don't move the component. So I'm going to use my magnetic screwdriver just to help me, I hope, to get them in place. Now I can secure one of them. Okay, just grab the other one. Okay, just secure that now. There you go, that's, they're secured in there now. I don't know if you can see that. And I can move on to the final stage. So we're gonna be taking the last plastic part, which is component 25.3. So it's that little part. What you'll see on the side of this component here, 20.21.1, there is a little hole. So you just see on the side, we're gonna be putting this component within that hole. So just gonna apply a little bit of super glue um, just double checking how that goes before I do that. I'm doing this live, so I have to make sure it's all correct. So that fits in like so, as you can see. So I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to put some super glue inside that, that hole just to make sure it stays in. So 
going to flip that over, push it in. And that is it. That is the shoulder joint complete. So that's the shoulder joint completed. I hope you guys uh, liked the episode. It wasn't too long as I promised. And now we can finally move on to issue 26, which I'll show you. We are going to be putting everything together. So uh, we have obviously the full arm coming together. So I'll be using the uh, lower arm and hand, which I completed in the previous issue. That's going to be connected to, um, it's the right, sorry, the upper arm from issue seven. So if you remember this this part, um, this is going to be connected to the shoulder joint, which we will then be able to add to the lower arm and hand. So we're gonna have a fully completed arm. Um, and then I can put in the gun with the gun, so it's gonna be pretty cool. Um, there will there'll be a few parts that we need. So obviously we've got these components here. Also the pin from <clears throat> the issue I've just done today, that's going to be connected for the elbow. So that's uh, that's the next issue coming, 26. As I mentioned, 27 still isn't here, but that's fine. I've got more issues. I can just crack on with those um, until we catch up and get to 27. So anyway, guys, I um, hope you liked today's episode. If you did, remember to give it a thumbs up. Also, um, share it to people who might be interested. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. If you don't have a channel, you can just sign up very quickly um, through Google. It's not difficult. And uh, once I have enough subscribers, you'll be able to hit the bell and get notifications. But you can still see my um, videos come up on your feed if you do subscribe. But thanks for all the support so far. I really appreciate it. And uh, until next time, guys, I'll see you soon for episode 26.